What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, Mark the Messenger. This one's going to be about the demons that get you to stop praying, man. This video is going to be super, super deep, super, super powerful. So make sure you watch this to the end. And there's going to be some parts I'm going to have to cut out to as well because it's just kind of uh, or block out because it's, it's kind of graphical. But I understand the, the message behind this brother, Fox 600. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. I'll leave his name somewhere on the screen. Check him out. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of you guys, you're having a hard time overcoming sin, overcoming your flesh because you have no prayer life. And this video is going to expose what these demons do to believers' lives, especially the carnal Christian. Okay, the demons love to mess with people who have no prayer life, who don't know the word, okay, who have not studied to show themselves approved, okay, that don't have the armor of God on, who don't even know who their enemy is. Okay, the devil, Satan, in, in Hebrew means enemy. Okay, uh, so this video is going to expose it, expose Satan's kingdom. Fox 600, when I first was like a baby Christian, I watched all his videos, bro. I watched them all. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. But this is how it is, guys. Remember, the Bible says spiritual wickedness in high places. So in the physical world, everything looks good. There's cars, people walking up and down. There's trees. There's buildings. Things look nice, right? Perfectly fine. But there's demons looking to take out a Christian. There's demons looking to take out a believer, Okay, they're out there, and this is exactly how it is. And check this out, because most people, most Christians are carnal. Okay, the demons love to prey on those people, all right? Satan commands us to seek any Christian and to destroy them. Okay, that's the whole goal, the whole agenda of the enemy is to destroy the believer, okay? And the demons don't care who. They just want to destroy anybody. And best believe, Satan rewards them. Okay, Satan rewards the demons, those who work for Satan, Satan rewards them when he did, when they destroy, um, you know, a Christian. So what about him? And the demons they know who they know who you guys are. Uh, Acts chapter nineteen, verse fifteen to seventeen. The demons knew who Christ was. The demons knew who Paul was, you know. So they they couldn't mess with them. But those who didn't have the authority, those who didn't have the Holy Spirit, who weren't fired up, the demons know, they don't uh, they don't know them, and they'll take you out. Okay. So the carnal Christian, okay. Uh, walking normally perfectly fine, maybe just got off work or maybe just left the gym. You know, the average, you know, the average uh, life over here in Babylon in America, right? So he's walking around, just chilling. You know, everything seems normal in the, in the physical realm, but in the spiritual realm, okay, he doesn't have an active prayer life. Okay, here comes the demons. All right, and all of you guys who struggle with sin, this video is going to expose it. Like, just stick around. So I will put weeds in his minds with sexual fantasies. Demons know where your weakness is. Okay, so his weakness is, you know, is lust. And that's what a lot of believers uh, battle with in these last days is lust. It's so being pushed heavenly, okay? So this is how the demons work. The seeds slowly start to plant, and then now you're more, you know, more tempted in. And once you guys start to see those seeds start to plant, you have to instantly rebuke it. And like I said, pray your life. So the, the, the demons say, this fool, he's always thinking about sex, okay? Now he, the demons say, good, we'll make that fool masturbate. We'll make that fool wash corn. Okay, we'll make that full. I'm, I'm going to have to block this image right here because I don't want to uh, lead anyone to stumble. Okay, um, we, we push him to watch the pornography, online movies, and TV shows daily. Okay, this, like I said, guys, now it's not always demons. Sometimes it's just your flesh, you got weak. But when you're in, this you're, you're in this toxic cycle of doing it every single day, those are demons that keep you in bondage, especially if you don't want to do it. Those are demons that keep you in bondage. Yes, okay? So as you see, he has, you know, he has shame. He has guilt for his sin that he committed, okay? But, you know, it's like it, uh, the demon's like, oh, look, he wants to stop watching them. And like I tell you guys all the time, whenever you give up a sin, be ready to fight. Look at So the demons say, uh, don't worry. We'll make him have sex with him in the dreams. Succubus spirit, incubus spirit, been exposing that too, okay? That, that when you have intercourse in your dreams, that's not good. Those are, those are demonic spirits, and whenever you stop watching corn, whenever you stop touching yourself, or whenever you give up, you know, a sexual, a sexual sin, the demons are going to come and try to get you to go back. This is spiritual warfare. This is a war. No time to scoff. No time to go back and forth. You know, this is, we got to fight, bro. We got to fight, man. And this is exactly how it is. Like I said, I'm going to have to cut out some of the scenes, you know, or just block it with like an image so you guys don't see. So that, that carnal Christian had a dream that he had sex with a demon, with a demon. Okay. A lot of guys, when I gave up corn for the first time, Okay, you are a spiritual wife. Ooh, when I gave up corn for the first time, this is what was, what was happening to me almost every single day. 
from an addiction that I had for 12 years, for two weeks, I would have, I think every other day, you know, within those two weeks, I think five, five times when I gave it up, I would just be getting attacked, sexual dreams, sexual dreams. And I didn't know what it was back then. But now, you know, me being a warrior, me having wisdom, more, you know, more knowledgeable, like I said, back then I was a babe. But uh, those are sucker bit spirits attacking you. But see, we open those doors through our sin, through our willful sin, man. So now, now look, now he's watching, you know, pornography every single day now. Now it's a daily thing. And that's what the demons do to keep you in darkness, to keep you more in bondage to Satan's kingdom, to keep you more in bondage to your sin. Okay. And Satan also wants you to rebel against God's commandments because best believe when you're watching corn, I know the Christians, they tell you the commandments are done away with. You don't have to keep the law. They're deceived. Okay. When you break, uh, adultery is not only when you uh, ha have intercourse with another man's wife. Yes, it is adultery. But also when you watch corn, you're, the Bible says, or Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 7, verse 5 to 27 to 28, talks about when you look upon a woman to lust after her in your heart, you have committed adultery. So when you watch corn, that's the reason why it's free. Satan wants, he wants, he will make anything free if it gets you to sin against God. It gets you to break his commandments because that is sin. Okay, 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. So you see how he slowly started watching, he masturbating, then corn. Now he's doing, you know, dirty, abominable acts and being a pedophile. Okay, this is what happens. Okay, some people, they, they do corn and, 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 and play with themselves, and then they do, you know, homosexuality. This is all the cycle of sin, and the demons keep them further in it, further in it. Okay, and, they, and it all started with a seed, planting it in his mind. He had to have the helmet of salvation to protect and arm his mind. Like I said, people perish for that lack of knowledge. He didn't know the word. He wasn't equipped. The demons, you know, one thing about what notice when you start when I want to read the Bible, whenever you want to start praying, you get kind of tired or sleepy or unmotivated. Those are demons, man. Those are demons. Because you could play the video game, you could watch movies, you could watch YouTube perfectly fine. But the minute you start reading your Bible, you get sleepy. That's a demonic attack. So soon afterwards, Carnal Krishna has struggled. Okay. Demons have endlessly tempted him. Okay, because we know that God is not tempting us when we when we fall into it. Okay. These are demons cause, you know, tempt us. You know, also sometimes the flesh gets weak. He is a stubborn man, a resistant man. He so he's trying to fight against it. He's trying to resist the urges. Okay, but the, but he didn't have the, he didn't have the wisdom. Okay, don't worry, Congress. We'll push him to go to the prostitutes daily, to go to this strip club. A lot of men, you know, subscribing to the OnlyFans, you know, going to this strip club, wasting your money away. The pleasure of wasting your money away. This is why a man has to have purpose in his life. Okay, so you won't fall into these snares. Okay, you're a busy man, all right? So as you can see, it all started with a seed with him just masturbating, and then it went deeper and deeper. You know, this is this is crazy, man. This is crazy, but this is how it is. This is how it is, man. Like I said, guys, I'm going to have to block out certain images because, like I said, I don't want no one, you know, um, I don't want no one to, like, you know, stumble or anything like that. So I'm going to uh, just probably blank it out for a little bit. Uh, also, there's no sound on, on the video, on the video that's playing, because uh, from what I've heard, that he, the Fox 600 is death, so there's no audio in his videos. So um, someone's always saying, oh, Mark, the, the, there's no volume. It's purposely, no, it's not that I don't want to have volume. It just, you know, so that's why I do commentary over it. Okay, so as you, can, as you see, okay, he goes to the shrimp club, and now he's beating on a prostitute. Okay. So this this is the, this is what sin does. It sends you to the grave early. Okay, willful sin sends you to the grave early. It causes it's corruption. He who stills the flesh shall reap corruption. So she's bleeding in the, in the face. Okay, the police come get him again, and you know we we know what happens to you know people who go to jail for playing around with little children. Okay, we know what happens to that. Now I'm gonna fast forward a little bit because it's kind of. Um, go right here. Okay. So right there, remember the demons, they, they were with them the whole time, the whole time the carnal Christian was defeated. We must pressure into him into committing suicide. The, the whole goal of the demons to get you, to get you to kill yourself. Okay. Whenever you're suicidal guys. Okay. I'm going to have to block that because that's very graphical, but whenever you're suicidal, okay. Uh, demons, they, they want, they want to take you out. That's not God. That's not, that's not the Holy Spirit, nothing righteous about that. Thou shalt not kill. It's not only, only other people, but yourself too as well. Okay, so the demons, they send his soul to the lake of fire. They send him to hell. The carnal Christian is thrown into the lake of fire for committing suicide. Wow, man. Wow. <laughs> John chapter 10, verse 10 says, A thief come only to steal and kill and destroy. 
So we got warrior versus sense. Like I said earlier, guys, Satan rewards the demons. He rewards those. Satan rewards those who do his will. Okay. So Satan wants to uh, pr us to prowl the next human again today. So guess who they're gonna? They guess who they? Who, guess who they want next? Guess who their next target is? So they're saying, who will be the next? The next target, guys, is gonna be those who are carnal, those who are unaware of their enemy, those who don't know what spiritual warfare is, those who don't have a prayer life. Okay, those who don't, aren't equipped in the word, the word being the sword of the spirit. The demon's job is to destroy all you, all you chosen ones, all you people who are walking that righteous, narrow path. That is the whole goal of the enemy. And it says this in James chapter 4, verse 7 to 8. Submit their, uh, yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. Cleanse your hands, these sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Okay, so you see this one with the, the Holy Spirit destroyed the demon. Okay, the demons have no power over those who are who are filled with the spirit. No power. They're actually afraid of us. So no one should be inferior over this video. If you are, you need that Holy Spirit. It's time to stop. It's, our, it's time to stop being lukewarm. It's time to not, you know, it's time to give up the sins. It's time, guys. Submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double mind. James chapter 4, verse 7 to 8. So this is how it is, guys. The demons that get you to stop praying, the demons that send your soul to the lake of fire, people perishing for the lack of knowledge. The cycle of sin must stop today. You must repent today. Repent, repent. Because if you don't repent, repentance and your obedience is what gives you power in the spiritual realm to overcome uh, overcome the enemy, to overcome these demons. Your, your, your power lies through your obedience. So repent. Be set apart. Be holy. I love you guys so much. If you guys made it this far, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Spread this video out on the algorithm because people need to see this. There's people out there, guys, who are perishing every single day because of these demons, because of these demonic spirits. So have a prayer life, guys, and just keep on striving, keep on fighting, keep on fighting the good fight of faith. I love you guys. Don't forget also to subscribe to Fox 600 and my live streaming channel too as well, Mark the Messenger Live. All right, love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.